My name is Greg Taylor, co-founder of Seamless Brewing. My partner Cam and I share the operations and, uh, and we're involved with our uh, other partner, Greg Cromwell, in coming up with the idea and establishing uh, Steam Whistle back in 1998. Uh, we thought we're going to have a retro theme to our brand, overbuilt quality, age of innocence. Let's put a Steam Whistle on top of the new brewery, and blow it off at 5 o'clock. And then everyone down in the financial district will hear it and see it and go, time for a craft beer. This is a great name because that is a mnemonic. It's an icon everyone knows about, and really only Fred Flintstone owns it. Uh, so why don't we adapt it as, as our, uh, our name and our vision for, for what we're going to do, which is create uh, a Pilsner, craft Pilsner here in, in Toronto. The Steam Whistle being in the Roundhouse is fortuitous because we actually came up with all our marketing ideas, the vision for our brand, and we hadn't found a building yet. And we knew we wanted to find what we called our cathedral of beer, a place that people could come and celebrate the beer and, and find out about how it was made. All right, welcome to the brewery, the Roundhouse Steam Whistle. And meet our, our brewmaster, meet the staff, and, and uh, people, you know, they, they want to, it's a pilgrimage to, uh, to breweries. People want to see what's happening. and, and uh, so understanding that, we looked long and hard for a building that would be a place that had a feel of tradition to it and also was a good location. And inside the building, we'll do close to 260 different events in the year. We have an actual department now of uh, four uh, of our crew that takes care of events here. And that is all different types of things. We sponsor a lot of events, a lot of charities taking place here. We'll do close to 70 weddings here at Steam Whistle this year. We thought, well, let's focus on one beer, getting one beer right, because we knew it was a big challenge to make a beer that would match and meet the quality of some of the imports that were being introduced in uh, 1999, 2000 to Ontario. Imports are very popular. And we knew in order to, uh, to instill confidence in the consumer that we knew what we were doing, probably focusing like an Olympic athlete focuses on getting one thing right and becoming the expert at brewing Pilsner would make sense. For all those reasons, we thought, let's just focus on becoming the Pilsner experts in Ontario and uh, just simplified everything here for the staff. We've got a brewmaster from the Czech Republic. That's all he knows. That's what he loves. He grew, grew to love that. Built a brew house in the Czech Republic, chipped it here. So for us, it all makes sense and, and people have, uh, have embraced that idea and, and Stimus has become known as the brewery that does one thing really, really well. And when it comes down to a beer that people can go back to and drink, a nice warm summer day, for example, people always come back to Pilsner. You know, not just our Pilsner, but traditional Pilsners. True Pilsners will always remain popular. There's advantages to the consumer right away because you're supporting the economy here in Ontario and you're drinking fresh, fresh beer, it hasn't traveled at all. You, uh, craft breweries are using local ingredients, uh, the, uh, the money that's produced is going back into the province. A lot of the larger domestic breweries and imported breweries that are coming in from different parts of the world are foreign owned and don't make the sort of contributions that craft brewing make every day. So when you're choosing craft beer, you're choosing fresh, you're choosing local, and you're contributing to the economy of Ontario, it, it's, it's all positives. And also you can come and not only with Steam Whistle, but a lot of craft breweries across Ontario, come down, go for a tour, meet the guys making the beer, find out about their passion, learn more about craft beer, and actually see the original ingredients and how it all comes together. We understood that we didn't have the resources to market our brand the way the larger guys do and, and uh, to put sales force on the road and, and so what can you do when you have a small amount of money to invest? Well invest it in your package because you're going to make a package anyway. You know? So we took a look at colors and said okay what stands out, what, pe what are people not using, what, could, what color could we embrace that people would identify with our brand however we presented it. And so the green, it was a little risky at the time. People were like, whoa, that's really green. But what's happened is we've established ourselves with that color green and people identify with that. So the vehicles you see in the road, clothing people are wearing, all the packaging, a lot of the POP and paraphernalia you see in bars, it's all our green color and people see that as, as Steam Whistle Green now. And, and again, it's a it's an important part of branding and marketing, and I think a lot of other craft breweries have picked up on that and started to develop their own color schemes that people can easily identify their product and allow a consumer to go in a store and say, hey, there's Steam Whistle, I'm going to try that. Steam 
this is a great beer to start out with. Pilsners are great. People, you know, it's maybe a bit of a jump to, from drinking a domestic style lager to come to a Seamless and Pilsner, but it's, it's, uh, it's a step worth taking for sure. And the, from there, there's a huge world discovery in Ontario Craft Brewing that, that, that most people would never go back because you're supporting local and you're, you're celebrating the, the uh, new renaissance of making beer the way it was supposed to be made, the way it originally was made by the, the new Canadians that came in, in the 20s and 30s and started all these small craft breweries across Ontario. In the, in the 40s, there were hundreds of craft breweries everywhere. Slowly, E.P. Taylor started buying them all and closing them all down, and he ended up with three major brewers and no craft breweries. Well, hello folks, we're back in, in the wonderful world of craft beer. We have got really a brewery in every, every local city and town. That's exciting. Bring that on. Craft beer is typically, and steam whistle is a good example, it's made with all natural ingredients. So the difference between a domestic beer and a lot of imported beers is you're going to get spring water in our case, four ingredients usually, steam whistle is made with only four ingredients. And uh, you know, beer in Ontario and Canada, in fact, can be made with up to 108 different ingredients. We've chosen to only use four. It's fresh, it's made right here. So you're trying beer today and you come into the brewery, you're gonna try beer that's made probably within a couple days, if not the same day. When you come for a tour of Steam Whistle, you get to try beer right off the line. Why is that important? Because beer is like bread. I don't care whose beer it is around the world. If you're going to a domestic brewery, go to their brewery and try a beer that's made that day. It will be better than any other beer you get from them, right? So the idea of craft and, and is local is much fresher. So we deliver, for example, from the brewery directly to most of our retailers and our restaurants to ensure the beer is consumed as soon as possible. I mean, you know, if craft beer used preservatives, which it doesn't, and methods to try to extend shelf life, regardless of that, it, would, it wouldn't be uh, accomplishing much because beer should be consumed right away. So we're all about promoting that idea of coming down to the craft beer in your community, trying, buying the beer, right, taking it home and trying it immediately, right, making sure the beer is fresh. So, Ingredients, freshness, and the idea that you're supporting local, it's really important nowadays. You know, the economy hasn't been strong. We need to get things rolling again. Investing in the local economy makes a lot of sense. Those are, those are the reasons I would suggest people try Steamless and Pilsner. It also tastes amazing. Exactly.